what is PD number 1829, acts punished under presidential decree number 1829, penalizing obstruction of apprehension and prosecution of criminal offenders is also called as obstruction of justice. What is the purpose of PD number 1829? It is to discourage public indifference or apathy towards the apprehension and prosecution of criminal offenders. It is necessary to penalize acts which obstruct or frustrate or tend to obstruct or frustrate the successful apprehension and prosecution of criminal offenders. What are the imposable penalties for obstruction of justice? The penalty is imprisonment, fine, or both. Imprisonment ranges from four years two months, and one day to six years, to shun correctional in its maximum period. The fine ranges from 1,000 pesos to 6,000 pesos. If any of the acts mentioned herein is penalized by any other law with a higher penalty, the higher penalty shall be imposed. Who may be charged under PD 1829? Any person whether private or public, who commits the acts enumerated in Section 1, Paragraphs A to I, may be charged with violation of PD 1829. In case a public officer is found guilty, he shall also suffer perpetual disqualification from holding public office. What are the elements of PD number 1829? The offender knowingly or willfully obstructs impedes, frustrates, or delays the apprehension of suspects and investigation and prosecution of criminal cases. The word knowingly requires that the offender is aware of the circumstances that the person being assisted is a suspect in a criminal case. To be held liable for obstruction of justice, it is necessary that the crime was committed by a criminal suspect. Obstruction of justice is committed even if the person who is being investigated turns out to be innocent. What are salient provisions of PD number 1829? Section 1, paragraph A of PD number 1829, the elements are, first, that the offender prevents a witness from testifying in any criminal proceeding or from reporting the commission of any offense or the identity of an offender. And second, that the offender employs bribery, misrepresentation, deceit, intimidation, force, or threats. Section 1, paragraph B of PD number 1829. The elements are that the offender alters, destroys, suppresses, or conceals any paper, record, document, or object. Second, that such paper, record, document, or object is an evidence or will be used in any investigation of or official proceedings in criminal cases. And number three, that the offender intends to impair the veracity, authenticity, legibility, availability, or admissibility of the said paper, record, document, or object. Section 1, paragraph C of PD number 1829. The elements are that offender knows or has reasonable ground to believe or suspects that the person he has assisted has committed any offense under existing penal laws. And second, that the offender harbors or conceals or facilitates the escape of a person in order to prevent his arrest, prosecution, and conviction. Section 1, paragraph D of PD number 1829. Letter A, using fictitious names. The elements are that the offender uses a name other than his true name. Second, that the offender uses the fictitious name publicly. And third, that the offender uses the fictitious name for the purpose of concealing a crime or evading prosecution or the execution of a judgment. Letter B, concealing true name. The elements are, first, that the offender conceals his true name and all other personal circumstances. And second, the purpose of the offender is to conceal a crime or to evade prosecution or the execution of a judgment. Section 1, paragraph E of PD number 1829. The elements are, first, that the offender may be cited in contempt of court and be held criminally liable for obstruction of justice. Second, disturbance of the proceedings in the fiscal's office 
must cause delay in the prosecution of criminal case. And third, that the obstruction in the warrant of arrest must be made by a person other than the accused against whom the warrant was issued. Section 1, paragraph F of PD No. 1829. The elements are that the offender makes, presents, or uses record, document, paper, or object with knowledge of its falsity. And second, that the offender intends to affect the course or outcome of the investigation of or official proceedings in criminal cases. Section 1, paragraph G of PD No. 1829. The elements are, first, a public prosecutor who solicited benefit in consideration of, of abstaining from the prosecution of criminal case is liable under Section 1, Paragraph G of PD No. 1829 and Section 7, Paragraph D of, of RA No. 6713, also known as Code of Conduct for Public Officials. No, number 2. A prosecutor who accepted or agreed to accept benefit in consideration of abstaining from the prosecution of a criminal case commits obstruction of justice under Section 1, Paragraph G of PD No. 1829 and direct bribery under Article 210 of the Revised Penal Code. And number 3. If a prosecutor maliciously abstained from the prosecution of a criminal case without consideration, the crime is the election in the prosecution of offenses under Article 208 of the Revised Penal Code. Section 1, Paragraph H of PD No. 1829, the offender threatens directly or indirectly another with the inflection of any wrong upon his person, honor, or property, or that of any immediate member or members of his family, or imposes a condition whether lawful or unlawful. And second, the purpose of the offender in threatening another or imposing a condition is to prevent him from appearing in the investigation of or official proceedings in criminal cases. And Section 1, Paragraph I of PD No. 1829 provides that if the offender gave false information to mislead or prevent the law enforcement agencies from apprehending the suspect, the former could be prosecuted for obstruction of justice under PD No. 1829 or as accessory under the revised...